The ministry says the aim of the competition is to encourage authors to challenge gender stereotypes, which have traditionally been prevalent in children's literature, adding that many children's books frequently portray men and women in specific socially defined gender norms. Around 140 individuals entered the competition. Barnaby Jarvis took first place in the youth category, with Ariella Lidbetter as runner-up, Amy Montagufo for the young adult section and Lauren Broughton as runner-up. And in the adult section, Sarah Duarte and Colin Galt took first place and runner-up respectively. My story is about this very greedy goblin king who picks 1,000 perfect goblinas, which are like female goblins, I made them up, to handpick these berries for him. What happens is that they start to rebel and he goes to a wizard to ask for help. And because all of these goblinas had a specific criteria, the one that didn't meet the criteria is the one that rebels. Well, I didn't so much just want to subvert the stereotype in the fairy tale, but I also wanted to challenge some other stereotypes that would become apparent in the story that are also stereotypes that people put on women, for example, women who live alone, or women who, um, for example, don't want to get married. And I also just wanted to have a twist at the ending, so I quite liked writing it for that reason. Highly commended in the youth section were Matthew Lopez, Dylan Young and Megan Edmonds. When the competition was first announced, some hadn't fully warmed the idea. Maybe people at the time didn't really understand what we were aiming to achieve. There was no question of um, rewriting or eradicating existing fairy tales. But what we have to understand is that when a fairy tale is written in a particular period, it's written to satisfy the needs and the understanding of that period. We always have to set it into context to make it relevant. And as we are progressing and as we always try to champion diversity and more inclusion of women and women as role models, when we looked at more traditional fairy tales, it reflects the traditions of the past where women were not necessarily leading figures. But that in turn conveys the message that a woman cannot be a leading figure. And we just wanted to turn it on its head challenge it and make it more positive. Adjudicators for the contest were GBC's Cristina Cortez, local author Jordana Durante and Ministry of Equality's Marlene Daly.